Hello. I wanted to talk about if effort doesn't feel good for you right now, or if it does, especially, because it, it bloody does for me. I'm currently trying to reduce the amount of times I'm swearing, so if you see me take a little pause and try to correct myself, I'm trying to improve on not swearing in the videos, at least. Anyway, if you're... <laughs> sorry, fuck, okay. <laughs> effort, right, feels good for the high testosterone or high effort man today i felt like shit I, I, I don't feel like shit anymore because i'm just telling myself that because negative affirmations are something you want to avoid at all bloody cost avoid negative affirmation i'm warning you do not go and say i'm a loser don't go say i'm a piece of shit don't go say i'm this and that don't say anything that does not positively impact you even if it's true you know what do you have to lose if you go in the mirror or if you go and tell yourself every single day that you are him, you are the G, you are top G, you're whatever, right? You have nothing to lose if you go to yourself in the mirror every single day and say every woman in the world wants to have sex with me. You do not have anything to lose, whether that be true or not. If you said every woman doesn't want to have sex with me then fucking then they don't but if they do you know you're aiming for here you might just about get to here that's my ideology of it anyway let's not get off track if you feel like shit right now or anytime do something effortful depression is being depressed with the state you're with right now no one gets depressed it's not some random disease you catch it's not a fucking illness that you get sorry it's not it's not anything that just comes to you. It's when you're depressed with your situation. Let's say like two, three, four months ago or even six months ago back. I would go lock myself in my room. Well, I don't have a lock, but just metaphorical sense. And I would sit there with the lights off and I'll just look at the ceiling. And sometimes I would be so pissed off I would cry, right? And that was because I was so displeased with my situation. Keep in mind, I didn't have a bad physique. I had probably one of the best physiques in my whole school. Maybe, sorry, maybe my whole year level or the year levels above. <laughs> the problem was I had absolutely no pussy. That that hasn't changed until now. I'm, I'm telling you, this shit has not changed until now. But yeah, effort feels incredibly good. That's why when you get a girl's number, it feels good. That's why when a girl adds you on Instagram, it feels good. It's not get on too much with the girl shit, but anything. That's why when you buy something expensive, for example, it feels good. Especially when you buy something and then you feel good for a week or two. Or you get dopamine for a day. Because effort feels really good. So if you're in a depressive or depressed state or just displeased, look at your situation analyze everything and wonder what can i do well how can i put in a little bit of effort how can i put in a load of effort how can i put in something so i can get something out for there to be output there must be input and that that's beautiful someone someone make a tiktok out of that like one of those uh gta gameplays on the bottom and then me on top and i'll say like without input there will be no output someone make that a tiktok please Anyway, so you must, in order to get to the top of the mountain, obviously climb up there or drive up there or, or something. Get driven up there. You can be a passenger too, whether that be via your parents, your grandparents, your the fucking lottery. You, you have to somehow get to the top of the mountain. It does not matter how you get there. You know, I sometimes say, and a lot of people disagree with me, family disagrees with me, outside of family, friends disagree with me, but I say drug dealers in life are currently doing better than me. Fuck my fucking hair, bro. Anyway, I'm saying drug dealers in life are currently doing better than me. Let's not look at the moral standpoint of things. Let's just purely look at financial side of things. A fucking drug dealer is doing better than me, and that really pisses me off, man. I made a video about effort just like a minute ago, and that's why I feel a little bit better and a little bit more energized. But it really pisses me off when I see my mates, and they're a bit of they're a bit of gimps, bro. They're a bit of losers, right? 
I'm not saying they're losers in the sense that, you know, they're fucking, they're ugly and they're this and that, but they're like eshes that don't do anything with their life. And I wonder, how is this guy happy? Keep in mind, they get a load of pussy. And that's why I wonder, what the fuck am I doing wrong? Today I came to the realization that I am putting in zero input and expecting a fuckload of output. Damn, I didn't think of that until now. I was, I was fucking kidding. I didn't. Th- I, I came to that realization just now. I am putting zero input to get women. That's why I'm getting zero output of women. It's not because I'm an ugly dude. Like, I'm a solid, like, fucking 10 out of 10, bro. Because at the end of the day, as I said, as I mentioned before, you don't have anything to lose when you say positive affirmations of yourself. Yeah, some guy might call you arrogant. Yeah, some guy might call you big ego. Like, for example, my dad. Anytime I would say, I'm the best, I'm the best in the world. No one, your son is the best. I will be the best. I'm sure if I was a father, I would love to hear that. If I heard my son say, I am the best and I will be successful, I will be rich, I will get a ton of women, I will be really happy. But the thing that pissed me off is he got he got a bit angry at the end. Keep in mind, I said it a little too much. There's obviously reasons for things, but yet at the end of the day, he got angry for me being so-called arrogant. But if I was going around the house saying, oh, I'm a fucking loser, I'm this, I'm that, I'm lazy, women don't like me, you know, I have a, I have a beer belly, I have, I have this and that, what the f- hell am I gonna get out of that, right, see, I'm getting good at catching those swear words, you see, that's a swear word and I catch it, just like that, anyway, I want to tell you guys a little story, today I wanted to go and box, right, and I had so much food in my stomach, and keep in mind, I was fasting the whole day too, like, I ate at one o'clock, and oh my god, I feel so full right now, even though I've had like two meals, and I wanted to go box, and I, I literally, like, I went and I threw a kick. First off, my shin hurts like fuck, like it hurts a lot. Anyway, I tried to throw a kick, my shin hurt a lot, and my stomach was just rumbling. Even though, I, yesterday I even went to box as well, but fucking I was too full of food. Anyway, that's why I was pissed and angry today, because I couldn't put in effort. I'm going to tell you one final message as a brother. If you are feeling angry or sad right now or whatever, take that as motivation. I was really pissed off today. I was on my couch sitting like this, uh, scrolling through fucking Instagram with this fucked up LCD of a phone. Oh, pisses me off. And I, I don't know what I... I was sitting there scrolling on the LCD fucked up phone. And I was putting in zero effort. And then at the end of the day, I went and I recorded one video and this is my second and I'll record even more. So if you see any videos with this shirt, this background and this thing on the back, it's probably all recorded at 6.46. See you later.